Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we're going to be opening up four Chrono Toys mystery boxes. So, let's get started. Alright, so, you guys probably know me, I don't get too many mystery boxes, but I am a big fan of Chrono Toys. I've actually been to their store, I've met the owner, Kenny, he was a really nice guy, but we're going to be going through this here and opening this up. So, I ordered four of them. Actually, what happened was I ordered one... And then I was like, that's not a good video. So I ordered three more. So I'm really excited to see what we get inside of here um, and see uh, what's inside. So let's just open this up. I'm guessing all four of them are inside of here because I only got one Chrono Toys box. So maybe they put them into the same order. That'd be really nice if they did because then I, I don't have to get another one and then, you know, save this video for some other time. But let's see what we got. Uh, okay, good. It looks like there's four of them in here. Perfect. So this right here is great. So I was looking on their website and there were some pretty good ones for the Grails. Um, actually, hold on, let me check see what they were. Okay, so I think this was it here, if I'm not mistaken, and I'm looking through the different stuff that they have, and the grails were... hold on... I believe they were... okay, I, I can't find the exact... okay, no, no, this is it here. Um, Horror Deadite Glow, limited to a thousand pieces. Movies Ace Ventura, vaulted. Um, Sci-Fi Mars Attack Martian, vaulted. Disney Sully Metallic, limited to 480 pieces. SDCC exclusive. And then the Mike Wazowski Metallic, limited to 480 pieces. So, all of those, I don't have any of them, so it'd be cool just to see what I get. All of, each of these boxes were $10.99 or $11. Um, so not that expensive at all. Like, seriously, that's the same price as, like, buying a common figure. So, I don't even care what I get, as long as it's something I don't have. So, I guess we'll just pour these out here and let's start with one of them. I don't know which one to do first. Um, I mean, it doesn't really matter. We can just pick them out as we go. I guess let's start with this one here. They all kind of feel the same here, but let's cut into this. I'm excited because you guys know I don't order too many mystery boxes. So also, if you guys want to see me do more mystery boxes, let me know. We can totally do that. Um, okay, let's just see what we get here. I'm not going to look actually. Let me see if I can, I can usually pop the tape off. I'm good. Okay, here we go. All right. I'm going to show you guys first, I think. Okay, so here we go. Let's see what we got. I hope that's the top there. Okay, there you go, guys. That's what it is. Now let me see what it is. Hmm. Okay. So, it looks like we got... And I actually just picked this one up, too. Looks like we got the Iron Maiden Eddie, um, which is a new common pop. Like I said, anything common, I mean, I don't really care. I already have this one, um, but it's still a pretty cool figure. So there's the Iron Maiden Eddie right there. A pretty cool pop. I do like that one. This is the only one I have out of the Iron Maiden set, and of course I got this one, but still, it's a fun figure. Um, and then there's the four other ones on the back, right? There are actually, well, three other ones, because this is Eddie right there, so those three are the other ones. Um, I don't know if they're ever going to make more of these ones. I think this is pretty much everything they can make for Iron Maiden, so still, a really cool figure. Um, but yeah, too bad I already have it. But let's move on to the next one here. We've got three more. Um, I mean, let's just see what we got. Okay, so on to the next one here. Let's see. I'm not going to look again. That's going to be the thing. I'll show you guys first, I guess. And then we'll see what we got. Okay, I don't want to look at it. Okay, I got it. All right, here we go. Let me show you guys first. There we go. I can't see it. What is it? What is it? Oh, I'm excited. Okay. <gasps> Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It's in a protector. <gasps> okay, this is cool. And it's the chase. What the heck? Okay, guys, so we got the one from Boruto, Naruto's next generation. Um, this is Naruto Hokage. That is a cool figure. Look at that. It's the glow-in-the-dark one as well. That is crazy cool. I wonder how much this one's worth. Well, what we'll do... Actually, I'm not going to check the price on it now. It's in a protector, so this is probably good. Um, it's in a chalice protector, too. These ones are nice ones. But let's save that to the end, I think. And uh, we'll check see what the price is on that, because that's pretty cool. This one was just recently announced, I know. Maybe, like, last month? Let me see what it says. Uh, yeah. I, it was made this year. I think it was, yeah, it was just made, like, last month or something like that. So, still, really cool. We're just going to have to, we'll check that at the end, like I said. I don't want to do it now and spoil it if it's something huge. Okay, so here's the next one. Um, this right here. I don't know, I'm excited. With this one being in there, and that that's for sure over $11. Let's just say that. So, I for sure made my money back on at least two of the boxes, I'd say. Like, at least $22. I'm sure it's worth way more than $22. We'll have to find out. Oh, the tape is stuck, and I want to see it. Don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look. I can't see it from this angle. Okay, there we go. Got it. All right, so, here we go. Let me show you guys first, and then I'll check to see what's inside. There we go there, guys. Can you guys see it? I think so. Hmm. Okay, cool. This right here. Oh, that's a cool figure. 
We got the Friends um, Target exclusive. Well, this is the shared exclusive one, but this is a Target exclusive in the States. Um, it is the Monica Geller with turkey on her head. There's a little bit of paint scratches on the front there, but that's not too bad. I could probably get that off if I really tried, but that's a cool one. This is for the new wave of Friends, and we actually have seen, I think I've seen every episode of Friends now. I don't have many of them because I didn't really collect them when they first came out because I didn't watch the show. And then the second series, I don't know why, I just never did get too many of them, but I do have this one now, the Monica Geller. It's got the cool specialty or the special edition sticker on the front there. Can you guys see that? It's kind of hard to see it because it's like that um, kind of like metallic chromish kind of sticker. But yeah, it is really cool. I do like that one. But yeah, so this here, like I said, the Target exclusive in the States. And we'll check this one at the end. I think this one's worth maybe like $20, something like that. Not too crazy, um, but it is for sure more than $11. All right, guys, so we are on to the last box here. I'm really excited to see what's inside. I honestly have no clue. So let's check this out here. Uh, let's cut into it. This could be something big. I don't know. Could be big. All right, here we go. So far, we've been doing really well. I mean, I, I want to say, I think at the beginning, I, I want to say this. So if it's, so I think I paid like $44 for all these. I'm not going to include shipping because that's not how much the box was priced at. That's like shipping's after and it could be different depending on where you live. So I'm not going to count shipping. So $44 is what we're trying to beat here. I think we're pretty close to that. Oh, I didn't show you guys. Hold on. Okay, so that's what's inside. Uh, is it good? I don't know. I hope it's something cool. Hmm. Okay, so this right here is from Dragon Ball, it looks like. And this is Raditz, I believe you pronounce it as. Rad Rad Raditz? 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 I'm not sure. Um, I don't know too much about this character, and I know it's part of the... Well, it's not the newest wave. Um, it is newer, though. So we'll have to check that one as well. And I think it said on the website it's like new commons as well as some rarer ones thrown in there as well. So that's cool. And then you guys can see there's the rest of the wave on the back right there. Um, but let me check out the Funko app here and see how much these guys are all worth. So what we'll probably do is I'll go from the what I think is the least expensive to most expensive. So I think we're going to start with the Iron Maiden Eddie because I don't know um, too much about this one. But this is what I think is the least expensive figure. So let's check it here. Okay, this one here is worth $11. So that's what I paid for the mystery box. Not bad, I will take that. This is a newer common, so usually the new commons are about, you know, eight to fifteen dollars, whatever they are, depending on where you buy them. Like I mean, I really could get that at Hot Topic for fifteen dollars here in Canada. Um, so it's about that, anyways. Eleven dollars is great though. I'm not complaining because that's what I paid for it. Now let's check this one here. This is the Raditz one. Um, I believe that's how you pronounce it, guys. Let me know in the comment section below. I mean, I don't watch too much Dragon Ball. I do have some Dragon Ball figures, but I mean, it's like Vegeta and um, Goku, like stuff like that. I don't get into the, the I don't want to say more obscure characters because I don't think he is, um, but not like main main. So let's get this one here. Okay, this one here is $7. Not bad. It, we lost a little bit on that one, but I think we'll gain it back from these two here um, with it being the, uh, you know, M Naruto and the um, Monica Geller. So let's check this one here with Monica. I think Monica is worth less than this one, but I might be wrong on that, but let's still check this one first just because that's what I think it is. Okay, here we go. Like I said, I think it's about $20. So we'll check that real quick. Okay, so this one's $26. That is not bad. Yeah, the Monica Geller one is a pretty cool figure. And with it being $20, uh, or $26, sorry, I made my money back with this one for sure, and then it's already over the top now. Um, so we'll check out all the prices and like figure out how much I gained after. Um, but let's do this last one first. All right, so here we go, guys. Naruto, this could be our big, you know, big win here. Um, so let's just check it out. Let me just scan it and see what we got. Okay, here we go. This one's worth $70. What? Okay, so it's the tri I guess it's the AAA exclusive and it's the chase. So, and it glows in the dark too. God, I love glow in the dark stuff. But there it is right there, guys. $70 for this figure. That's crazy. Yeah, we for sure made our money back on this. I'm just adding these up right now. Seven, uh, what was it? Plus 11, plus 26, plus 70. So the three of them alone, actually, these three here totaled uh, $44, which is what we paid for the box. And then altogether, this came out to $114. So that is a lot extra there, considering we only paid $44 for these. And I think we even got it back with shipping there as well, because shipping would have been, I think it came out to like maybe 50 something because what happened was I ordered one and then I ordered the other one um so say I ordered just this one right and then these three I ordered separately so that I had to pay double shipping which was like I think about six bucks per uh shipping so that's another twelve dollars so we for sure made both of those shipping back as well with this um which is really cool so anyways guys that's gonna do it for today 
Hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more mystery boxes like this in the future, let me know. I think Chrono Toys does a lot of mystery boxes, so we can do more of these if you guys want to see them. Um, we might also be able to do some other stuff as well. I know I've seen Fugitive Toys do mystery boxes and stuff like that. We do them at like conventions, but I don't order them too often. So if you guys want to see me order some more mystery boxes like this, let me know. I can totally do so. But this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow.